hello welcome to my youtube channel i'm sally jacks tv mom and today is going to be such a quick one it's a really good one for the kids and it's something that i've done for all the kids in my son's year for class as they're breaking up for easter this time so what i've done is i've got a little bag and i've made it into a bunny now i found this on i think it's pinterest and youtube and there's quite a few people that have done it so i've seen lots of different demonstrations however they all seem to be very very similar so it's really quick really easy this is, this is not my design this is something that I've taken but I'm going to show you how quick and simple it is to be able to do so all you need is you need a brown paper bag you need a little pom-pom you need some white string you need something to go inside and I've also got some grass as well and um, you also want a pair of scissors you want a pencil and you also want some PVA glue and then I'm also going to show you because this is one that I've just made earlier the other thing that I've done um, that has been wonderful and this woman has been really lovely to deal with, she's called Anne and her website is called, or her eBay shop is called Lovely Things by Anne, that's A-N-N-E. She's also on Instagram, I'll leave you her description in the details below. I've completely paid for these, they've not been given um, and she's done me some really cute little tags for the kids and they come beautifully packaged, you can see. She's basically given a little note that says thank you for ordering from Lovely Things by by Anne and a couple of other words but um uh, she's managed to do every single tag with the kids name on so there's 28 children in my son's class at school and every one of them and I even wanted a, a Frankie Jack to have one so he's got one in there as well so it's happy Easter Frankie Jack love the Easter bunny um so we're doing those we've been doing these at home so Frankie Jack's helped with a few of them but as you know any six-year-old gets very very bored very very quickly but I'm going to show you how quick these are to make so first of all, you want the brown bag and then you want a pen. And this is how easy it is. This is my Easter table. If you've not seen my Easter table yet and what I've done, then I'll leave you a link in the description below. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna mark sort of halfway on the bag like so, and you're gonna do a slight curve coming out to the end and a slight curve coming out to this end. Can you see? So I've made like a V in a slight curve like so. Then you're gonna take your scissors and you're going to cut down and that basically now is your template for your bunny ears and then you're going to take a little um you're going to take a little pom-pom and we're just going to glue it onto the bag at the bottom so um, for all of these, for when I did the whole batch together, I did them on a Saturday night whilst I was watching television, I just used my glue gun, then you're not having to wait for it to dry. But for the purpose of this, when we sat at the table, it was quicker for me to do that. So there we go. Then what you're going to do is open the bag up. Then what you're going to do is open the bag up. And then I take a little bit of this, a tiny bit of this, and I'm going to pop it in the bag. And then I'm also going to pop in, I've got orange in there, but I have used some green. And then I popped a little Easter chick and I've popped three of these eggs, which I got a big bag of from Aldi. So that if I was doing this under normal circumstances and not in the pandemic, I would normally make them sort of a Rice Krispies with Frankie Jack and we put little mini eggs. But because you can't do that because of COVID, and also I'm going to take these into school earlier, so they break up... Um, the Friday before Easter, I will take them in uh, probably either the Tuesday or the Wednesday. So they're already in school so they can go into quarantine before they're given to the children. Next up, you want to take some white string and you're gonna fold it over three, you're gonna fold it over three times. So you're gonna wanna take about that length and you're gonna fold it over once and then you're gonna fold it over three times. So once you've got three lengths of it, you're gonna cut it off. And then you are going to take your bag and you're going to just, it in like so because you want those Easter bunny ears to stick out like so. So can you see how that ends up? Can you see how it ends up doing? And then what I will do is I will then take a tag and on the tag, so this is for William, one of his friends, we're going to take um, the end of it and we've already tied it and then I'm going to pop that through the three pieces that I've folded. And then I'm going to take it around the back and I'm going to tie it. You want both sides the same length and I'm going to tie it in the front like so. So you've still got the tag. So I'm going to go one and then I'm going to go a double knot on this one. 
And then these are going to now be your little Easter bonnie whiskers. And then I'm going to snip them off. And you've got three either side. Oh my gosh, is that not the quickest vlog ever? And then that now is your Easter bunny bag to be able to give the kids, to be able to give the grandchildren, to be able to do with the grandchildren, to be able to give out of school. Her fates, when we get back round to doing that, it could be something that you might want to give out of church, etc. There's so many possibilities for it and it is so easy. I hope you enjoyed. I <laughs> know, I told you it was going to be a quick one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, it's lovely to have your company. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and I would love you to be part of our YouTube social family. So just press that subscribe button. Also, the bell notification, which is the bell just below here. If you press that, they will notify you on YouTube every time I upload a new video. I have lots of stuff on Easter for you to be doing during the holidays if you want to. There's also the Easter party that I threw mm, two years ago. I would have done one last year, but for COVID, and I definitely would have done one this year. I'm also going to be doing a house tour, whether or not that's already been done for you. But I hope you enjoy. I love it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.